Hey RC fans, it's Judd with ProRack, and I'm here to show you the basics on how to assemble your new rack. Let's get started. The only tools you'll need today are a 2mm hex driver and a 5.5mm nut driver. Today we'll be taking a look at assembling both the standard and the elite versions. We'll start with the standard version. It has asymmetrical arms and is pretty much just for display. Okay, I've gone ahead and unbagged the standard edition rack. You can see your two arms, hardware, you've got your cradle, your base, foam, and the adhesive pad for the foam. Also included on the inside of your hang tag are detailed instructions on how to assemble and install. An important thing to remember is that the smaller portion of the key holing remain oriented in the upward position and that the arms are oriented with the cradle in the upward position and that the two corresponding positions match. Another important thing to remember is that the base and the cradle go on the inside. The arms go on the outside. If you're going to make any kind of adjustments at this point, you would, but this is all adjustable if you want it to be. You can go up and down, you can bend it uh, to um, kind of one angle or another to accommodate for canted uh, base plates as well. But once you get it where you want it, you just crank it down. The secret to the foam square logo side goes down if you get a logo one. This was a printer's mistake, um, but that goes this way. And the secret to getting this done is you want to put your finger in the middle right here and you want to push this down and then you want to rotate it and then you want to push this down. Just do that a couple times. Okay, you get a little bit of a cup there. And you're going to take your adhesive, you're going to take the backing off, put it on here, pull the other piece of backing off, and then what you want to do is you want to put one finger at each corner, bring it on up, get it as centered as you can, kind of look at where, where it's going to land. You can just kind of drop it and then push it down. Congrats, you're done. Now let's build the Elite. With the exception of converting to maintenance mode, the procedure for assembling the Elite rack is exactly the same. Arms on the outside, cradle and base on the inside. I'm also here to show you how to change our Elite rack from storage mode to maintenance mode. 
simply by changing these two screws. Simply just move these two screws from this position to these two positions right here. What this does is change our Elite Rack from wall storage mode to maintenance mode. Now it's a table stand. Either way, you can't lose. Thanks for getting racked up and enjoy your Pro Rack.